Hello everyone, it's Command Block Kid here, and today I'll be showing you how to use the play sound command in Minecraft 1.18 Java and Bedrock Editions. This tutorial will be split into two sections, the first being the Java version and the second being the Bedrock Edition. Timestamps are in the description below, and with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. In the Java version of Minecraft, either get yourself a command block or open up the chat menu and type in slash play sound, like so. You're then going to notice a crap ton of options here, and this is basically, if you keep scrolling down, you're going to have a lot to scroll through because there are so many sounds in the game. Alright, so we need to actually narrow down what we want to actually find for a sound. So we're going to type in the Minecraft prefix, like so, and then we're going to type in one of the following words. Ambient, block, enchant, entity, item, music, particle, UI, and weather. And that's basically the nine major categories, all right? And I'll get into more in that in a little bit. But after this category of sound types, like the ambient, there's usually one or two subcategories or subwords or whatever that help you narrow down the sound to the precise one that you want. So there's ambient.basaltdeltas.additions. That's some stuff regarding basalt deltas in the nether. You kind of get the gist of that. So say if I wanted to play the sound of a pig oinking. So I type in entity, because a pig is an entity. We're going to then type in dot pig, because we are looking for a specific entity. So it's a pig, dot ambient. The ambient mean is basically the sound that a pig will normally make, uh, just normally, just walking around, it just winks randomly. It's the sound that uh, plays randomly. And then there are 10 sound outputs here that you can choose from. If you try to run the command before you actually type one of these in, you're going to get an error message. So we're going to need to type one of these in. Ambient is basically your environment around you, like cave sounds and other related environment stuff. Block is basically anything block related, like if you're destroying a block, placing it, or running across it, you know, that's going to, that's going to do something with blocks. Hostile is basically anything regarding hostile mobs, such as zombies and skeletons. Master is basically just the master volume, so it's kind of obvious with that. Most players will have this on. If you don't, then you're kind of crazy. I'm sorry, but yeah. Music is basically the in-game music. Uh, so it's basically if you're not playing a jukebox or a note block, you'll hear this kind of music if you have the music toggle on. Neutral is basically all neutral and passive mobs, or friendly mobs as the game may put it. Player is basically all sounds related to the player, such as taking fall damage or something like that, that's going to hurt. Record is basically a jukebox and note block sound, so all the sounds relating to those, including music discs, will go through here. Voice is the narrator voice that, will, that, that some players have for accessibility reasons. Most players don't have the narrator voice on. I wouldn't advise routing stuff through there unless you're playing the narrator voice. And then you have weather, which is self-explanatory. It's literally the sounds of the weather. <laughs> if you're not sure which one of these to pick, go ahead and click on master. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be going having this route through master. Plus, everybody is going to have that on to some degree. So it's actually probably the most optimal option. Uh, now you get to choose who to affect with this command. So in my case, I'm just going to do at P to target the nearest player, which is me. Or I could also do the same thing with my username. I'm just going to go with at P for the sake of this tutorial. Now is where you can go ahead and type in your coordinates. If you want to execute this where your location is or where the command block is, you type in three tildes. Otherwise, if you wanted to get specific, you would just type in coordinates. All right, the first number here or the first tilde that's your x-axis and it runs east-west. Uh, middle is your y-axis and that is height. And z is the north-south axis. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do three tildes for the sake of this tutorial because that's just going to execute it directly where I am. Now we get to type in volume, pitch, and the minimum volume if you want to set any of those values. Typically, volume defaults at 1, pitch also defaults at 1, and I don't know what minimum volume defaults at, but I'm just going to go with a 0 0.25. If you know what this value is, go ahead and, and comment it down in the description, and I will thank you for it. So you change each of these values here, 
by the tenths or hundredths. If you were to change by the whole number, it is going to make a massive change, especially if you edit the pitch. So we're going to go ahead and do 1.5 for the volume. It's not going to make much of a difference if you go above one, except uh, more people will be able to hear it from further away. Keep that in mind when you're going above one for volume. Pitch is basically how the pitch of the noise you want to make. So we could do 1.2 or something like that. That's what I'm going to go with for this tutorial. And then we have the minimum volume. We're just going to leave it at 0 0.25. Usually I'll leave this blank as well, so uh, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to set it to 0 0.25 for the purposes of this tutorial. Now if I hit enter, it sounds like a pig. That is actually it for the Java edition tutorial. You can stick around to see the bedrock version, or you can skip ahead to see the end of the video. In the bedrock version of Minecraft, either get yourself a command block, or open up the chat menu and type in slash play sound, like so. After I hit in space, you'll notice that literally nothing pops up right above the play sound command thingy, where it shows what sounds you can do. And so I've linked in the description a play sound finder specifically for Bedrock Edition that you can find the sound that you want to use, so you can go ahead and use that. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to pick random dot hurt, like so, because it surprisingly it produces the age-old player oof sound, you know, the one that was many, many years back. <laughs> Um, so after getting your sound written down, you can run it as is, which will execute the command only to yourself and at your location of you, basically. <laughs> so like that, it just says play sound random dot hurt, and it will work like that. But there's a lot more that you can do as well uh, with that. So you can add in a target selector, uh, like right here, or you can add in a user name. I'm just going to do at P for the sake of this tutorial. And you can add in some coordinates as well. Uh, the first coordinate, x, is uh, your east-west axis. Your y is the height axis, and z is north-south. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do it at my position, so it's going to be three tildes like so. Then we've got the volume, the pitch, and the minimum volume. And by default, the volume and pitch are set to 1.0. And I don't exactly know what the minimum value is set to. If you do know, please let me know in the comment section down below. That would be very appreciated. Uh, but regardless, it doesn't really matter much unless you really need the minimum volume set. So for the volume, as you can see, one pitch, one. So basically, it's the absolute normal stuff. And for the sake of the video, I'm just going to do 0 0.25 for minimum volume. Now, when you're changing the volume or the pitch, uh, you want to do it in decimals, like in tenths or hundredths, because if you do whole numbers, it's going to make a massive change. So if I do 1.2 or something like that for the pitch of the oof sound, and if I run it, as you can see, it, it had like a higher pitch, like so. Uh, but if I do in just an entirely whole number, like so, like two, it'll just sound like that it's it's a very massive change so keep everything in like decimals with like tenths or hundredths because as you saw just there it significantly changes the result and that's basically it for bedrock edition thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any questions comments or the like please go ahead and add them in the comment section down below and i'll do my best to get back to you if you liked this video please drop a like, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you again for watching this video, and I hope you have a good one. Bye!